And, oh my gosh, I think I've made like my new favorite creation on prep. It looks like a cake now. Morning guys, so it's Friday the 25th of September now and we are officially eight days out from my show. It's gonna be next Saturday, so this is like, it's coming to an end, it's crazy. It's been like the longest but also shortest and fastest journey I've been on. Um, so yeah, it's crazy, but I've just submitted my check-in as usual on a Friday. It's super dark outside, it's like raining, so I had to put up like a little like lamp. My weight has dropped again, and obviously I said in, a, in my last vlog that my coach didn't want me getting any leaner, so I'm hoping that we're gonna change a bit of cardio or increase food again this weekend, just to make sure my weight stops dropping this much. I'm gonna quickly go head off to do my faster cardio as usual on my rest day today, and then I will see what coach says, and there may be some changes this weekend, and if so, I shall, as always, keep you guys in the loop. I feel like all these videos start like this and then I'm like, by the way, so these are the changes and you guys kind of like wait and anticipate with me. But anyways, I'm going to go get my fossil cutter done and I will see you guys when I'm back. Morning guys, what's up? It's Saturday today, so I know I didn't film too much yesterday. Basically, I came back home from all the posing and my cardio, and I just had quite a lot of stuff to do. I've talked about it before, but I'm doing a Christmas advent calendar release. It's going to be an ebook of 25 days of holistic living. We've got recipes, quick workouts, all home-based because I'm predicting we're going to be back in some sort of restriction over the Christmas break due to COVID. So I wanted to do something where you, know, you can still stay active and have something to do during the holiday season. That's happening and there's a lot of work to get done for that, especially the recipe. So I just came back and just pretty much worked. And then at 5 p.m. I went back to my old flat just to grab some of the last things there. So my mattress, some cooking stuff, and a lot of clothes. But what we were all waiting for, my coach response. So happy girl, honestly, my let's Okay, let's start with the cardio and training. So training this weekend will remain the same. So today I have legs, which I think will be the last full on leg session I have before my show in exactly a week's time and then tomorrow I have upper body um, in terms of cardio wise I usually have 35 minutes of faster cardio five, five times a week um, and this weekend we're only doing 25 and then from then on only 20 minutes so not many sessions left of that all my post workout hit has been removed so no more spin bike for me and now if we go to food food has been increased quite substantially so my oats in the morning have gone from 25 every day on training days to 45 um weedabix three weedabix to four weedabix and then um i think my night oats have also increased and then on my wrist days I've also had an increase of oats from 25 grams to 45 grams twice. Um, and then my potatoes have also been increased, which is exciting. More oats, more happiness, right? So yeah, no, I'm very excited for this last week. I think I'll definitely be feeling a lot better in terms of energy because I'll be having more food. That's all super exciting. I'm going to take you guys along this whole week. So like snippets of every day. Um, so right now I'm just going to go pack my bag and get my leg work out done. And yeah, I'll bring you guys along actually because it might be the last one for a while. I've also just done my chicken, so I'll insert my chicken clips here. Okay, so I pretty much just, I'm just filling up my bottle here with my, oops, with my EAAs. So this one's in the raspberry lemonade flavor. It tastes amazing. I mean, usually I put some ice cubes in there too, so it kind of comes out like a flavored slushy that, that I can sip on during my workout. And I'm also just going to pack this in my bag because I'm going to have it like, 10 minutes before my workout but my pre-workout so this is in the flavor salad gummies i always talk about it because it's genuinely it it just smells like it smells and tastes like actual sour gummies but in powder form and the powder is so fine that like you can literally just dry scoop it so easily and it just goes down i usually have it like just before i start my workout at the gym so i'll carry this tub with me in my bag. So I've just done my fasted cardio 25 minutes in the Stairmaster and I'm just about to have my oats before legs. Can we just appreciate that I have 
45 grams of oats today like that's insane 45 grams for me now is so much just because i'm so used to having 25 right but when i was bulking i was having like over 80 grams before my workouts and that was like the norm so it's crazy how your perspective like changes over prep but yeah i'm gonna finish this up and then get some posing done whilst i digest and then i'm gonna have my workout day done i'm thinking that was the prop like the last proper leg day so really gave it my all um like i actually really enjoyed that workout because like lately i've been stressing so much about my leg workouts just because i've been finding them a lot harder to get done but that one was really good now i don't have any more post-workout hits so i'm just going to get my steps done on the um treadmill Hey guys, so I've just gotten back home and I'm just going to make my post workout now. So usually I have three Weetabix and this time now for the next week ahead, um, I'm going to have four Weetabix for my post workout, which obviously is like just one more, but it makes a world of a difference, I swear. So I'm going to get that made and then I have quite a bit of stuff to do. Obviously the ebook I talked about and also my vlog for two weeks out, which will be going up tonight. It will already be up by the time this video is up, so go check it out. I just realized I'm supposed to have 300 milliliters arm milk rather than 200 because I was wondering why it was so dry. Like I was trying to mash it up and I was like, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> okay, so I may have like 
taken my weed fix and heated it in the microwave at high for like four minutes with a bit of baking powder and oh my gosh i think i've made like my new favorite creation on prep it looks like a cake now like wow so here we have it it's like Ooh, look at that wow Morning guys, it's Sunday and I thought I'd just quickly pop on here to give you guys an update on essentially my coach's orders. So yesterday he came back to me with my chicken essentially saying that my fasted cardio which was supposed to be 25 minutes this weekend and then 20 minutes starting next week is to be 20 minutes from today onwards. My steps have been reduced quite a bit as well and he said pretty much like this is serious like do not go over. I know you struggle but do not go over your steps now. I'm just gonna have to like really make sure that I'm watching how many steps I am doing and then yeah other than that food will be the same as how he's just changed it so increase in oats and everything. Just done my daily chicken today as well so i sent that through i'm about to go get my faster cardio done and then an upper body workout done so yeah i'll catch you guys when i'm back so i've just finished my 20 minutes of faster cardio um and on the way here my coach replied to my chicken again and he's increased my food even more because i think yeah i think he just doesn't to make sure I'm not losing any more weight so that's always a good thing though I guess like more oats so I'm happy and like more rice so that's fine I'm just having my pre-workout oats now as usual and then I'm gonna go do some protein while I digest and then hit an upper body and I'm just here with Alia Hi. Hello <laughs> so yeah I shall catch you guys later I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us So I'm just making my post post workout meal now for today um, and my rice has been increased from yesterday now again this morning to 40 grams um, so I'm actually just like making a proper meal now which I'm super excited about I made it with like turmeric and a bit of paprika and then some like green herbs green herbs spice thyme Rosemary? I'm not sure, but I put it all in. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's gonna taste quite nice. So I've just had that post-post workout meal and it was so nice having proper rice skin. It's been like, what, almost like four months. <laughs> Right now, I've just been sitting here working on my ebook. For the Mondays, they're essentially called Motivational Move Mondays, or the alliteration. I am a true believer in like starting your week off right, and I think it's really great having that kind of motivational drive on the Mondays. So, in the ebook, each Monday leading up to Christmas, we'll have like a short snippet, something like a tip um, on how to create better habits for yourself, to prepare yourself into the future, to become more disciplined, to become more motivated, and it did person towards what you want to achieve in life. Also move Monday because I think it's nice starting the week off moving your body and doing something with high intensity. So I'm currently working through the workouts, just drafting them up. I will have to, after prep obviously because like, I'm not allowed to do any other exercise other than my workouts and like minimal steps now but after prep I'm going to just go through trial through all the workouts to make sure they flow well and they're not you know too much so I'm just drafting all the possible kind of variations right now they are full body no equipment exercises because I am predicting that we are going to have like lockdown restrictions and I know that a lot of people also don't feel comfortable going to the gym and I just want this December season to be like I don't know I just want people to still be able to feel like they're working out and staying active while still at home and perhaps under lockdown restrictions I think it's really good for your mental health too so that's kind of the whole idea behind it I also will be working on the other workouts so we have workouts on the Mondays Thursdays which are tone Thursdays so that's going to be more focused on a particular body part and it's going to be looking at kind of like resistance training um, I'm still yet to decide whether I want to add say like dumbbells or free weights resistance bands um just because i am aware that some people also don't even have dumbbells at home so i just i want to make it as 
easy to follow as possible um, and to include as many people as possible and then Fridays are your full body fuel Fridays so on this day we're sharing our food is fuel and spoke so whatever meals you guys are creating if you do buy my ebook and join along with this program and then it's also a full body workout looking at moving your whole body to end the week before the weekend so that's what I'm just kind of working on right now I'll catch you guys later Hey guys, so I'm making Heidi's last meal because she's still at work and she's coming back in like, I think 20 minutes. Um, so she sent me her macros again and she had quite a lot of protein to play with and she was like, look, I'll probably just have like a shake or something. And I was like, no, I just feel like there's many other ways to get your proteins in. Better kind of quality of proteins. I feel like you shouldn't live on like protein shakes and stuff. So I've decided to use her chicken strips and make like a pasta with it. So I was thinking like pesto, tomato, kind of flavors but um she also has stock soy sauce so i was thinking actually maybe i can make it like more asiany so i've got chopped up onions here i just i'm just heating up the sesame oil and i'm gonna fry the onions up first and then add in the chicken strips some of the soy sauce some of the spinach that she has and then just let the flavors soak up and then add it to the pasta that i've already cooked and then actually maybe like put it in the frying pan so that the pasta hopefully crisps up a bit so yeah let's go ahead and Fingers crossed it turns out well. I feel like I should make this into a series of like me making my flatmate meals. I really hope you like this. It's just so hard because like I, I can't taste it. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching that meal being made. Um, I'm just editing this vlog now. It's actually Wednesday, so four days ahead of time. And I was like, oh. I can't wait to be able to try that soon and like make it and actually taste it. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to actually split this peak week vlog into two parts because I realize it's going to be quite long and we still have a few more days to go and there's a lot happening. So I didn't really want to put it all into one thing and have this like massive 40 minute, 15 minute vlog. So, so far the peak week, I guess up to Sunday or let's call it just peak weekend, uh, will end here. So I will continue with what's happened, I guess, after that weekend and peak week from Monday onwards in the next episode so keep your eye out for that. Anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because again it really does help out your girl and it really does support me um, and other than that I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a lovely rest of your day or night wherever you are in the world. Mwah.